this is a pretty fast shutter speed. And now we're gonna slow it down to a slower shutter speed. See how that took a lot longer? Well, to understand what difference that makes in your image, we first have to understand what the shutter is and does. And to make this video really simple for you, I'm gonna split shutter speed into three sections. The first is gonna be how shutter speed controls the amount of light that goes into your camera. The second is gonna be how shutter speed affects how in focus or blurred objects are in your images. And third, we're of course gonna talk about how to get into shutter speed control on your camera using either shutter priority mode, which is TV on these Canon Rebel cameras, or in manual mode, that is the letter M right here. So let's talk about how shutter speed controls how much light your camera captures. Here's a quick and easy demonstration. I took a video light, set it to 100% brightness, and set my aperture on the camera to f4. This was in manual mode, so the aperture didn't change at all, and all we changed here was the shutter speed. You can see as we started with a fast shutter speed, we can barely see the iPhone box in the image, although the light is at 100%. As we slow down our shutter speed, keep in mind that fraction there, we get much more of the box showing up because the camera is opening up the shutter for longer and allowing more light in. The way you can really think about this is if you closed your eyes and then open them really briefly, that is a fast shutter speed. There's not much that you can see and you didn't capture a lot of light. It's like when you walk around in the dark and your eyes are adjusting, you have to give it a second to really process what's going on. Whereas a slower shutter speed, like let's say one one hundredth of a second or one twentieth of a second, would be where you open your eyes, hold them open for a little bit, and then close again. And that is the shutter being exposed longer, also known as a long exposure. So you can see that the faster our shutter speed is, the less light we're getting in the camera. Quick break to show you how to actually change your shutter speed. What we're going to do is move this top dial from the automatic mode over to TV and that is shutter priority on Canon cameras. So you'll see it says shutter priority, set your preferred shutter speed, even has an example of flowing or frozen if you have a slower or faster shutter speed. So then all we have to do is move this little jog dial here in the front and that makes our shutter speed faster and slower. So you can see as I move to the left, this fraction becomes slower or smaller. So we have one fifth of a second. It's gonna be a slow shutter speed if we listen to it. And if we wanted a faster shutter speed, we can change it to 1 12 50th of a second. You can hear that that's much faster. Then we can even go up to 1 4,000th, and you'll see that the aperture changes while we're doing that as well. So you can see the aperture adjusts in accordance to the shutter speed, make sure you have a proper exposure. If you feel like a master and you want to switch it up, go into manual mode, that is the M up here, and now you can change the aperture and the shutter speed, but if you only have one jog wheel, you have to use a little trick. So if you spin it, it'll change shutter speed like we just talked about. If you wanna change the aperture, we hold this little button here that says AV. And while we hold that, you'll see this little icon shifts over to the F number. And now we can change our aperture again by using that jog wheel. So change your shutter speed in manual mode by moving the jog wheel left and right. Change your aperture by holding the AV button and then moving left and right. And there you have it. That's how to control shutter speed. Now back to the video. This is important because if you're shooting outside during the daytime and it's really bright, you're gonna need a much faster shutter speed to make sure your image isn't too bright. You can see here where I slowed the shutter all the way down to I think about a second, you can't see the iPhone box at all because the camera was capturing so much light that was bouncing off of the walls that you literally cannot see the image. So if you took a photo outside and your shutter speed was too slow, you'll see that it's way overexposed and blown out. If we have a more proper, faster shutter speed at the same aperture, you can see that now we can see a lot more detail in the swimming pool, so that's a lot easier to understand. Now, let's look at the blur effect that happens with a slower shutter speed. So here I took two die and I rolled them on the table. You can see when we had a fast shutter speed, when I dropped them, it freezes in midair. You can see they bounced off the table. I took the photo, perfectly frozen, and you can count exactly which side the die is showing on. If we slow down the shutter speed, you'll see that now we have a trail of light and that is the blur of the die as it's leaving my hand and you can even see a little bit of motion blur in my hand as well from moving when I dropped the die through my left hand. Where would you want that blur? Well, if you're doing a photo of waterfalls and you want this really cool water effect that kind of looks like it's just perfectly evenly flowing, that is a slow shutter speed. If you want to take photos of star trails, that is also done with a slow shutter speed. If you want to take photos of race cars 
moving down the track with everything in the background blurred, but moving and having the car perfectly in focus, that is also with a slow shutter speed, and that technique is called the panning technique. So what does this tell us? If you wanna show action and motion and not necessarily freeze it, slow down your shutter speed a little bit. If you are in a darker situation, slow down your shutter speed, and that way you will be able to see things. So if you're taking photos at night, you want a really slow shutter. And if you're outside and things are really bright, you want a faster shutter speed so that the sun doesn't overexpose your images.